Over the past few days, I watched a couple of videos on YouTube and read a couple of reports about the housing market, because that's what I do. Um, and they were really interesting. And if you're confused by what is happening right now, or if you've been contemplating buying or selling a home, and you think the market is just in disarray based on what you've been reading, and you're confused, I get it. I, I get it completely. And you know what I have found over the past couple of weeks, especially, is what is being reported overall on a national level is not necessarily lining up to what we're seeing on a local level, which is why it's so important to know exactly what is going on in your own market. Over the past few days, I've actually been out looking at homes with people and visited several new home communities, and you'd be surprised at what I learned and what I saw. And I'm gonna share that with you right now. Hi, this is Andrew with the Andrew Smith team here in Frisco, Texas. And in today's video, I just want to talk about house prices a little bit because the the widespread belief out there in the market or you know amongst potential buyers out there in the marketplace is that the entire market's kind of like a house of cards and it's teetering on the edge right now, um, about to fall off a, a cliff and prices are going to plummet and this is going to happen and that's going to happen. And, and I get it. I, I get it completely. And I'm going to be the first one to admit that I'm not a fortune teller. I don't know exactly what's going to happen in the months ahead. And many of you are going to make your own opinions, which is great. That's what I want you to do. I just want you to make those decisions and formulate those opinions based upon fact and not fear and based upon the actual information that we're seeing in the marketplace. And again, this could be different depending on where in the country that you live. But today, right now in this video, I'm going to share with you exactly what is happening right now, currently here in Frisco, Texas. Now, if you've seen any of the videos that I've done over the past year or more uh, talking about the housing market, you'll know that one of the points I've brought up over and over and over, not only me, many people will say the same thing, but with regards to home prices, home prices are a direct result between supply and demand. In order for there to be a meaningful drop in home prices, you are going to need to see an increase in supply coupled with a decline in demand. Now, if you look over the past couple of years, what did we see? We saw the opposite. We saw a rapid run up in demand against relatively tight supply, short supply. And as a result, you had massive run up in prices. Everyone will agree. And it got to the point where homes were unaffordable, especially when inflation reared its head and everything from diapers to milk to eggs to you name it got more expensive. Budgets were contracted. It's difficult for people to buy. And I get that. So when mortgage rates spiked last year, buyers absolutely pumped the brakes. They stopped buying completely. It was just like the faucet shut off. And for a while, inventory, the supply of homes did go up. And what you also saw is prices come down as a result. There was a rapid change in the relationship between supply and demand. Again, here in Frisco, our home prices peaked in April of 2022. Right next door in Prosper, they peaked in May of 2022, and they went on a decline after that. Between April and the end of August, home prices, the median home price in Frisco fell 17%. That's a sharp decline and near the top end of the range of what many of the experts have forecast we could see from peak to trough. You know, some of the most pessimistic forecasts have said about 20 to 25 percent. And as I mentioned, here in Frisco, we saw prices decline 17 percent. But since the end of August, September, prices flattened out. They didn't continue going down. They kind of treaded water, which is interesting because we normally see prices decline this time of year due to the seasonality in the market. So the idea was, well, what's going to happen as we enter into 2023, at least in the first quarter? 
are we going to see prices fall? Some buyers I've spoken to recently, they're continuing to sit on the sidelines. They believe pricing in the local market is going to go down another 10 to 15%. Great. I don't see any data to support that right now, but that's fine. I just, again, want to report what we're actually seeing. As a matter of fact, the median home price here in Frisco ticked up again in November and December, reversing the trend. But still, they've been relatively flat compared to what they were. So very, very interesting. So just a few things to share with you on why I don't think, at least in the near term here locally, we're going to see much further reduction in prices. Could that change? Absolutely. I don't know what's going to happen in the economy overall. I don't know what the potential you know, impact of a recession could be. All of those things. Openly admit that. But what I can tell you is what I'm seeing right now in our local market. So first and foremost, we saw supply actually continue to fall. So again, demand fell, as I said at the beginning, in order for there to be a meaningful decline in prices, you're going to need supply to fall. I'm sorry, you're going to need to see demand fall as supply goes up, but it hasn't happened. Supply has continued to fall. So why exactly is that? Well, if you look at it from the current perspective of homeowners, right now, sellers aren't selling. 95% of all homeowners in the United States have a 30-year fixed rate mortgage at 4% or lower. Fixed rate. Why would somebody, unless they have to sell, sell their home that they may have a mortgage on at two and a half, two and three quarters, 3%, and trade that in for a home that's going to be at 6%, six and a quarter? It doesn't make any sense. Number one. Number two, when you look at the, you know, a recent survey showed that only 8% of all homeowners live in a different home than they did a year ago. That is the lowest percentage of people living in a new home within the last year since 1948. So again, it just proves the point that sellers themselves, as much as buyers just went, we're not doing this, we're going to go into wait and see. Sellers did the exact same thing. They said, we're not doing this. So what does that mean? Well, that means supply has stayed low. Supply has stayed low. Demand is low. That's why we've seen prices kind of flatten out, as I mentioned. So with that in mind, if it's not, if supply isn't going to come from a resale home, the only place supply can come from is new construction. And here's what I saw in the last few days with regards to new construction. And it surprised me. I hadn't been and looked at new construction homes, um, you know, probably in about a month. And I was out and there were cars everywhere. It looked like rush hour on a freeway, on, 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 out on the road. The streets were packed, cars lining both sides. Quite often in going into the sales office, the number of people waiting to speak to a sales agent to get information was five and six deep. There were people everywhere. In one of the places that we went into, I was able to talk to the agent. I'm like, how long has this been going on? They said, since the last week of December, it's been absolutely crazy. It's been insane how much traffic we've had. And while they are still offering incentives in order to get buyers in, but with the incentives that the builders have put in place, in many cases, reductions on inventory homes, homes that are going to be ready in the next two to three months, and financing incentives, they're seeing those homes move. So again, that is not what you would expect based upon the headlines that you're seeing and based upon the reports that are out there. So again, you know, I talk about supply, and I'm going to wrap up with this today. As I talk about supply, you know, the idea that supply is up. Well, why do the re news reports keep saying that supply is up? Well, it is. Supply is up compared to last year and the year before. But we all have to keep in mind that last year and the year before were anomalies. They were the best years real estate has ever seen. They were complete anomalies. So to put this in just a little bit of perspective, as of the end of December 22, here in Frisco, there were 379 homes active for sale on the market. 
Now that is way up, well over 200% up from where we were in December of 2021, when there were only 121 homes for sale. But if we go back pre-COVID, before all the craziness started to happen, in December of 2019, there were 729 homes for sale on the market here in Frisco. If we go a year back again to December 2018, there were 890 homes for sale. So again, perspective is very important here. So even though inventory is way up from where we were a year ago or two years ago, inventory is still way down compared to where we were pre-COVID. And in this area in particular, there's not less people here now, there's more. And there's more that keep moving in each and every day. So again, just trying to provide a little bit of perspective. So right now, the thing to do is to keep an eye on what's going on with supply relative to demand. I can tell you that speaking to my uh, my mortgage partner in the last week, she was telling me that they saw a big increase in mortgage applications. And it's interesting who those applications were coming from. The two big groups that she saw the increase from were first-time buyers because they saw big rent increases at the end of the year and investors. Interesting. Why would investor activity be going up right now? Right, And that's at least in this market here, the long-term prognosis of where prices are going and where they believe the market is heading. A lot of these buyers, they're not buying to flip. That market's not really with us right now, but they are buying to hold. So again, take that with you if you've been considering buying and it's something that you're going to be owning for the next few years. Best way to keep track of what is going on in our local market. Number one, if you haven't done it already, it's to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And number two, check in the description directly below. I've got a link to a market report that's updated each and every week that shows you the latest activity here in the Frisco market. If you're interested in a market outside of Frisco, not to worry, just check that report and you can go and look up any market in the entire country um, right from there from the search bar at the top. All right, so hopefully you find this information helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns or comments or wanna talk through a specific situation, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can always email me at andrew at the andrewsmithteam.com or feel free to give me a call at 469-296-5230.